Hello friends, this lecture is in continuation with your lecture series of tractors and heavy earth moving machineries. Today we are going to discuss about the unit number 2 and we started this uh, unit uh, two days back or two lectures earlier but today's specific content which we are going to discuss is hitching system of a tractor and various components of three point hitch system. Actually, we started this hitching system of the tractor in the previous chapter, previous uh, video, and but now today we are going to discuss in detail. Secondly, the various components of a three-point hitch system. So, what is hitching system? I told you in the last lecture, even that if it is, your, if the implement is not attached with the tractor on a specific location, it would not provide you any kind of benefit, or it will give you the lesser uh, efficiency. That's why the hitching point or a hitching system is designed accordingly. Correct. So there are two types of uh, uh, hitching systems which we are generally do is a horizontal type and a vertical type. Because to locate a point in any plane, you need two uh, locations, X and Y. Similarly, horizontal and vertical position of a hitching point is necessary. So as you can see on the right side, there is a diagram. Here it is. So from the top view, if you see from the, this is the top view of the rear side, this is the implement, this is the axle, these are your rear tires. So this is your implement or the attachment is hitched over this point. So what happens actually, he says that when a central straight pull cannot be obtained, it is better to divide the effect of offset so that the line of pull passes a little right to the center but not enough to cause steering troubles. What he says that sometimes this is your axle and what you believe is your whole load would be applied only in the center of the axle otherwise there will be uh, difficulty in the steering or the uh, balancing of the tractor so but it doesn't happen because uh, due to the imbalance weight on the hitch uh, on the hitch or maybe your implement like in this case on the left side on this side the weight is more as compared to the right side so your center of line this line of pull we just believe that this line of pull would be directly passes through the center of pull. Correct. If it is not, then there is a little dislocation of the center of the pull. Because line of the pull is exactly center of this axle, but center of pull where actual load is working on. Correct. So that point is this. If this center of pull is very near to the line of pull, then it is good. Either on the left side or on the right side. It doesn't matter. But it should remain near to the line of pull. That's why your horizontal hitching pull will be effective. Otherwise, not. Now, in case of your vertical hitching of the pull type implement. So, as I told you in the last case, there is a horizontal location of the hitch point as well as the vertical location from the ground. At what height your vertical hitch point should be located. And horizontal hitch point we have seen in the previous. If your center of pull and the center of uh, the line of pull and the center of pull is not coinciding, then it should be very near to it. Otherwise, there will be less efficiency. So in case of your vertical hitching point, so we are discussing firstly, we are going to discuss some of the terminologies over here. So you can read it here like the gravitational load is W, the, the useful soil reaction is RV, which you can see over here. The resultant is AB, resultant of both RV and W is AB. This one is coming from here. So by doing all these things, this G point, you can say it's a uh, center of gravity, center of gravity of the implement. Correct. So when you read this thing, so what do we have? The implement hinged pull members and the support wheels on or runners. In those implements where the wheels are provided. Correct. This is the last one is a wheel. There he, here it is the wheel. But this is your implement which is actually having the wheels on it. Correct. So there are two cases I am going to discuss. There is a 17.3 and 17.4 over here. So in these two cases just look at the location of your G point. Means center of gravity point. This G point is over here and this G point is over here. In this case, in 17.3, it is the best suitable. Why it is the best suitable? Because your center of gravity is lying somewhat behind and very near to the ground. Correct. In your 17.4 figure, in this figure, your G is, re is relatively high from the ground and nearer to the wheels, rear wheels of the tractor. Correct. So in that case, this is more effective. Why? Because we want maximum load should be put onto the ground. Because these plates should get into the ground for the plowing of the field. Let's say for the plowing of the field. So we want this G should be remain backward and down to the earth. Correct? Near to the earth. Uh, otherwise, this case is totally not required as it says that. 
the desirable hitch adjustment for the mold board plow qv located well behind the front wheel so there is enough load on the rear wheel for stable operation this is the best suited why because this g point this center of gravity point is near to the end point near to the ground and the backward action correct and as compared to this g point in 17.4 correct isn't it the front wheel and no load be being carried on the rear wheel therefore the rear of the plow will be very unstable correct so this is the wrong case maybe means this is just because your location see earlier it was located from here it was hinged from here and now it is hinged from this point correct so in these two points your hinge point is changed and your implement efficiency would get decreased clear and the next one is if your implement is having just only the gauge wheels or the runners these are the gauge wheels this is a hitching point these are the two gauge wheels you might have seen this is just to plow the field or the softening of the soil correct this is a front wheel this is a rear wheel and you might see the front wheel is deeper inside the ground as compared to the rear wheel and these two are not parallel actually they are not just one behind the another they are in between if there are two wheels then the center of the one is a rear wheel correct in, at some distance backward correct so what would happen this is carrying as you can see as an example this is carrying much more uh, moment over here as compared to this because this the front wheel is used to broken the heavier lumps of the soil and the rear wheel is to use for the broken of the soft lumps or the on the top on the top of the uh, soil the top soil is having the rough or maybe uh, less hard lumps so that will be broken by this wheel correct so these are the two cases so if your hinge point is changed this value would get decrease or increase if this wheel is come is as compared to up in the direction so it won't go into the earth and won't break the heavier lumps depth of penetration he says that depth of penetration will increase for the front gang and decrease for the rear gang correct as the as a front gang is operating in the firm soil and the rear gang is operating in the loose soil as i told you correct and it is depending upon purely your hitch point there are three random points are given if you are providing it here your uh, means at the location of your gang wheels would be depending upon the hitch point and the load onto the gang wheel would be depending upon your hitch point correct so in those case which are having the single wheels so in that case even your g should remain backward and down to the earth so that your this harrow would get inside the soil correct that is the only thing which we want now what are the factors which are design which are used to designing and evaluating of the system for mounting ease of attachment means what are the factors they, like it is very easy to adjust to remove or to attach correct standardization of interchangeability which very good topic the interchangeability so if your any any part of your implement would get destroyed or hinge point would get destroyed so you should have been it should be replaced or uh, maintained easily that is called the interchangeability ability to obtain penetration of implement under adverse conditions so it is a value should be provided to the in the design the rapidity with which the tool such as the plows as listers enter the ground correct rapidity means it should be rapid and robust trailing characteristics of implement it should be easy to trail on or maybe loaded to some tractor and easily move from one point to another point effect of the implement upon tractive ability so they should be tractable they should not be hard rigid they should be tractable the effect of the raised raised implement upon the transport stability of the tractor when it is in raised position because on the when the tractor is moving on a road so it should be in a raised position and it should not harm the stability of tractor so that should be the factors while making it correct then the design of the various components of the three point hitch system which you can study that the first is the purpose should be the system must be considered the second necessary motion of the component is given third some devices must be selected which will produce the required motion fourth the forces acting on the members must be analyzed and overload factors must be considered everybody knows uh, mechanical engineers or the automobile engineers knows what is the overload factors so finally a choice of material must be made and the parts properly proportioned to withstand the maximum forces determined so the material is to be taken which can withstand the forces so these are the three point hitch system component these are the eight components like the upper link lower link i'll show you the image even after this so you must go through these names the lateral limiters lift link lift arm rocking arm rock shaft and cylinder these three rocking arm rock shaft and cylinder these are the hydraulic system part which are carrying the which are able uh, through which the three point hitch system is able to move up down and just to uh, like the 
uh, a joint which is pessimistic joint which can enlarge and like your radio antenna so this cylinder is working on to that now the next is your these are the things which you can see this is the upper point the upper hitch point these two are the lower hitch point correct these are the lift arms these two are the lift arms depending upon the length or the requirement of your hitch points these are moving in and out correct and then the lower point span this is one point to the another point the distance is called lower point span correct and similar lower link arms these link arms and they can come out and in depending upon the attachment point the hitch point it is depending the location can be determined so what are the important features so it should be having a depth control the tractor or it is depending upon the hitch system of it or the hydraulic system you can say hitch system is actually working through a hydraulic system so hitch system must be used for the depth control the second control which is the draft control which we discussed in the last class so draft control should be there position control so that your implement should be held at certain location correct then centerability important point centerability is the ability of a tractor when an implement is attached to it correct and it tries to take the turn either left or right so the location of the center of gravity would dislocate correct because the center of gravity you can see through this image correct so this is when the tractor is moving correct when the tractor is moving and this point is centrally located all of the point is centrally located it is the locus of the instant center the center is there but when it tries to take the turn left to right maybe this center is dislocated the term centerability refers to the tendency of the hitch system to recenter itself when the hitch becomes decentered when the hitch becomes decentered means it is because of any reason it becomes decentered the centerability is affected by the hitch geometry in the horizontal plane it's a horizontal plane that's why it's a vertically we are saying it is a top view of the tractor correct so when it is due to any hump or you can say any resistance on the road this your hitch point your uh, implement should get stuck into there and this center is dislocated the centerability is provided by the centerability force of an implement so an opposite force is provided by the uh, implement which makes it centered one correct the centerability force of a three point hitch can be increased by making several changes there are many things which we are using to increase the centerability so that could be discussed in later on then the trailing characteristic the trailing characteristic or a mounting characteristic should be easily trailing characteristic means your implement can be trailed very easily to a different location that is called your trailing characteristics then the hitch lift capacity when you are when you do not want your implement to be work on the field so you want to you just take it in the midway or in the air so at that time it should be your tractor should not be destabilized correct so that should be designed accordingly fine so this is all about today's lecture and uh, in the next class uh, we will start with the next topic and if you wanted to see my previous videos or the further lectures you must subscribe the tiny step channel correct thank you and take